Hello everyone, it's Michelle. Today I'm going to show you the makeover I did in this guest bathroom. Uh, this is what it looked like before. I really didn't like the finish on the cabinet at all. Um, so I definitely changed that. I don't like the tile, the way it's going vertically, so or the light fixture. So I'm going to show you what I did. So guys, if you like home decor, decorating, DIYs, Go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. So the first DIY is that I went in and painted the cabinet and I'm going to be using the color elephant in this chalk paint right here that I got from Walmart. Everything that you see in the video will be listed in the description box. So I'm going to show you how I painted the cabinet first and then I'm going to go on to the DIY shelves. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, I'm going to show you the finish on that in a minute but I went to Home Depot and I got some pieces of wood cut I just got one long eight foot piece of wood and I got it cut into four pieces to make four shelves I'm using two in this bathroom and I'm using two upstairs so I'm using the white chalk paint and this one is from Walmart as well to paint out these pieces of wood that is going to be used for um, the shelves so I'm making two shelves for this bathroom and two shelves for the other bathroom. The one piece of wood was $16, so each shelf is around $4 each. And to be honest, that's twice the price that it used to be. Um, I heard that lumber got to be more expensive, but it's actually twice the price because I used to be able to get um, an eight foot board like that for $8. But it's, it's fine, it's still only $4 each. So I have painted these and I have installed these, shel these uh, shelf brackets. And these brackets are super cute. They are from the Home Depot. And I will list, th list them in the description box if anybody's interested in them. But it makes it really easy just to slip the piece of wood in between the brackets and it holds it really, really well. Okay, so my color scheme in this bathroom is navy, white, gray and silver metal accents i love this color combination and i do enjoy putting shelves up in a bathroom because that allows me to put in decor and the core the the decor is really what kind of gives the space its identity um, it kind of brings the space to life so I'm going to show you a close up of everything I have on the shelves, but everything on the shelves, well, on the first shelf is from Home Goods. The clock is from Home Goods and the cotton ball container is from Home Goods. Um, on the top shelf, this beautiful ginger jar, um, that is from Tuesday morning. The blue towels are from Tuesday morning. I'm going to show you the towels on the other side of the room. They are also from Tuesday morning as well. Sometimes I forget about Tuesday morning. Um, I don't know if they're like all throughout the country. Let me know if you have a Tuesday morning in your city. Um, but yeah, this beautiful ginger jar. I, I just love that design on it. Um, I was kind of playing around with some things. So I put a candle holder there, but the cotton balls, uh, the cotton ball container, I ended up putting that back because I just absolutely love the way it looked. 
So just, just a little bit of a close up. The flowers, they are from Michaels. Now I did get that a while ago. I got those a while ago. Um, but knowing Michaels, they probably still have them. Now over here on the vanity, I changed out the mirror. And I got this mirror from a Facebook Marketplace seller. Um, she said that it's originally from William Sonoma. So I absolutely love it. I remember DIYing a mirror similar to this, but not to this size. So I was super excited when I saw that. And for the price, yes. Um, I love the way the cabinet came out. I'm going to show you kind of a close up of what that whole cabinet looks like in a second. Um, the wall behind this mirror um, is going to get painted, but I'll, show, I'll come back to that in a second. Um, I put a hand mirror here. And I put this acrylic um, paper towel holder, which is from Amazon, so that people who don't want to use this, this hand towel that's hanging here, they can use a paper towel. I know I would want to use a paper towel if I went to someone's house. This beautiful mirrored frame is from Home Goods, and I'm going to put a quote in there. I just haven't done it yet. Um, the, the scent that I'm using for the summer in here is Sweet Pea. I did change out these outlet covers and they are from Amazon. Here's a closer look at the cabinet and how it came out. So one thing I forgot to mention is that I used a coat of flat polyurethane, clear polyurethane over the chalk paint. That's for the cabinet and for the shelves. So it's really important if you're going to use chalk paint to make sure to protect it with either polyurethane or wax. Since it's in the bathroom, I decided to use polyurethane because I felt like that would be a little bit more durable. So just to watch out on that. Okay, so let me take you on the other side of the room so I can show you what I did with the towels. So this beautiful metal flower decor is from Ross and I've had it for a while. I absolutely love it. Goes with the silver theme and the blue and white towels the blue towels are from tuesday morning the white towel in the middle that says all are welcome here is from home goods um, the way i did this towel is basically the way i i usually do my towels but um because i did put the rubber band there but instead of leaving that part at the top i just kind of pulled it forward to kind of make it look like a flower you know so i, I absolutely love the way that came out this little bench um, is from Home Goods. The flower, I just took that little one and put it inside of a candle holder. And I'll just put this as decor, but that bench can be used. It's a very strong bench, um, you know, if someone's trying to change their clothes or, or, what, or what have you. So I love the way this side of the room came out. Now over here is where the shower curtain. So I put up the blue shower curtain. Um, well, I put up the blue curtains along with the white shower curtain and I like the way this looks but I decided to kind of change it up a little bit so let me show you what I did. So I decided to put on my clips. Um, the clips are from Ross. Uh, they are actually absolutely beautiful and I'll show you that I think they came in a pack of two for $7.99 or either $9.99 um, the rug is from home goods the curtains are from Marshall's and the shower curtain is from Marshall's so I'm going to show you close up what that clip looks like and I know that I've seen these on Amazon as well it's in my Amazon store so guys thank you so much for coming along with me on my bathroom makeover I'm going to come back and show you when I paint the wall and I change the floor so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one